Hey everyone, welcome back to Unicorn Dust Design. Uh, this intro is gonna be a little different than usual because I don't know if any of you are feeling the same way, but um, I'm kind of over Christmas. <laughs> I have been lacking so much inspiration lately and I know some of it has come from not feeling well during my pregnancy, but I think a lot of it is, I, I'm a color girl and I think you guys know that. I love using colors. I mean, you guys, we have tons, tons of colors of DIY paints to paint with and just using red, green, and white, that, that I don't know, there's only so much of those colors I can use. So today we are gonna get back to some color in our life and I am literally just looking around the stuff that is in my craft room and I'm just gonna pick some random stuff and we are gonna upcycle it and we're gonna go from there. So hopefully you guys are on this ride. Let's get started. All right, I want you guys to see, I put on Divergent, I love that movie. But just from where I'm sitting, I'm not ashamed of this craft room because I feel like a lot of us are a mess like this. But there's tons of stuff. There's shelves, there's like, that's like a cherub something. We have a wall sconce or corbel. And then like over here, I have that box that's been sitting there for I don't know how long. There's picture frames. I mean, more picture frame. There's so much stuff. So let, let's get into it. If any of your craft rooms look like this, please comment down below. Let's get started. I really wanted to focus on a lot of things that I feel like we either have as old decor that maybe we've taken down or items that are easily found at the thrift store. And one of those items is art. And a lot of times I don't think the art needs to be replaced. Um, this is a piece that I have seen several times in the thrift store. So I did not feel bad about painting the wood. I love the image birds always do well selling wise. So I just wanted to update it and really make this image pop. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to clean all of the wood off. And then we're gonna take some Salvation Solution in clear. So Salvation Solu Solution from DIY Paints is like shellac. Um, it is a stain blocker and it comes in clear and it comes in white. I'm going to use the Salvation Solution today because this wood is super old and I could clean it all I want, but I don't want to take the chance of putting on my paint and then the oils or tannins coming through and then me having to go back and make more steps for myself. So I am going to paint this the front and the back of the frame. So here we go <laughs> with the paint. You guys, I like to pretend like I know what I'm doing as far as mixing paint colors. Um, I tried channeling my Debbie Beard, but your girl knows nothing about mixing in the color wheel and I really need to educate myself. So these birds are, they're kind of orange, but they look kind of peachy too. So I did not want to go straight orange with my frame. So what I did was I took crockery in the JRV cottage colors. Now the JRV cottage colors have built in sealers. So when you mix it with your DIY paints, you do not have to seal these or clear them with a wax or big top or anything. They are already sealed basically. So I tried mixing the crockery with cowgirl coral and then summer crush. And it was giving me too light of a vibe. And this is where like I just start adding I uh, guys, multiple things hoping to achieve <laughs> color. I think I add fire starter, which is a brighter orange, mix that, and it still was not giving me the brightness that I wanted. So then I even grabbed liquid sunshine, added a bit of that in there. And in, in the end, you guys, we, we got a little something going on, okay? I'm gonna give this entire piece two coats of the paint. I already painted the back and now I'm gonna go in the front. I have to say, I was loving the JRV Cottage Color mixed with the DIY clay-based paint because it still kept its like matte chalkiness to it, 
but I didn't have to do another step by sealing it. So I was really impressed with the mixed combo of the two. Um, but I just want, full disclaimer, the JRV Cottage colors do have the built-in sealer, so they are not an all natural paint like the DIY clay based paints are. So I am going to give this two coats and I did not have any kind of oils or tannins seep through after this was done. And every, <laughs> and now that everything is said and done, this is how it turned out. I really like it. I feel like it makes it a little bit more modern, the color choice. Now it is a little bit more uh, brighter in person. I feel like this gives it more of like a brown undertone. So I'm going to give you a different little, see how it, it's a little bit more brighter and peachier, but I think it goes very well for the piece of art. And I definitely think that we've given it new life and it doesn't look as outdated with the original wood frame. We're on to our next project using the same paint because I am not wasting all that paint. And my friend over here with the big booger on his back, he's just living the life. He crawled through my table, under that table, to get right here when he could have just come right here. But, are you so sweepy? Huh? You're so sweepy, huh? Okay. Mom, not you sweet. Everybody says hi. He got bit by something right there. Poor guy. But it doesn't seem to bother him. Okay, back to our craft. Now I know some of you have some dated wall pockets that you used way back when that are maybe a really nice wine color. Um, or if you're like me, I actually find the, the wall pockets at the thrift store all the time. Um, some of them have, you know, like raised details on them. And sometimes they're like this. If they are a good price under $5, I will usually purchase them because I can sell them for about like $24.95 usually, depending on the size. So I'm gonna clean this one off. We're gonna take all of the stickers off as well. Like I said previously, we are gonna end up using this paint color for the entire video because y'all, I ain't wasting that. That was a lot of paint I mixed up and I don't have a container to keep it in. So I was like, okay, well, I was gonna use multiple colors, but it looks like we are going to utilize this one. So DIY paints, y'all, they are clay-based paints and they will stick to any surface, okay? And I mean any surface. You know how like usually uh, Waverly paints, if you put it on glass or something, it just chips away. You can easily like run a fingernail over it and it's off. That's not really the case with these pigmented clay-based paints. So I do not even have to spray my surface with a clear matte spray paint or anything because it's going to stick right onto this metal beautifully. So for my wall pocket, I'm going to leave the back, like what's showing right now, I'm gonna leave that in the galvanized metal and the back in the galvanized metal as well. I'm gonna paint the bottom, like the actual like bottom, bottom <laughs> of this in our color combo we created. You know what, I'm gonna call this desert sand. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, desert sand is what we're, we're naming this paint color. And I am gonna take it all the way up and then I'm gonna get that rim that's on the back and the front right there. And I'm also gonna paint that. We are going to do, again, two coats of this paint color. I wanted to quickly show you that using that crockery color from JRV Cottage Colors, their colors tend to actually dry down darker versus those of us who have used the DIY paints, we know that they dry down lighter than what they look like in the container. It's kind of the opposite with JRV Cottage Colors. So it was kind of cool just seeing how the color dried down with that crockery color mixed into it. I took out all the things, okay? <laughs> I have the seeds catalog and then I forget the other one, but it has not been in stock on their warehouse website in quite some time. So I apologize. 
um, that I won't have it for you on my website, but I do have the seeds catalog in stock on the website. So I wanted to put a nice kind of bigger transfer on here. The front of this wall pocket had some kind of like, it almost like maybe like a rust or something. It looks like something was eating away at the metal. So I wanted to cover that blemish up. So I wanted to get a pretty big transfer um, that would disguise it. So I decided to go with this maize, maize flowers transfer. We're gonna just take it off its carrier sheet. I'm gonna lay it down, make sure that it's nice and straight. You can see I let the back galvanize. And the transfer sheets have some tack to it. So this isn't like, I mean, it's curved, but it's not like round, you know what I'm saying? So it will stick to the surface for you. And then I'm gonna start on my top and I am going to get the scraper tool that comes with your transfers. And I'm going to get a nice base going first. And then I'm gonna grab the corner of my transfer and I'm gonna start pulling that up as I am pushing down on that transfer. So it releases my transfer on to my surface. I'm gonna go slowly with this one because it is a curved surface and I don't want my, pop, my transfer to pop off and lose a piece. However, if you see that your transfer is still stuck to the carrier sheet, all you gotta do is put it back down and rub a little bit more and it will release. This transfer ended up going perfectly with this color. It was so beautiful and the transfer really pops with those red and pink photos. <laughs> you guys, I totally meant flowers, not photos. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna burnish that on to our surface, just making sure it's adhered. And because I put that transfer on there, now we have to apply a top coat. Remember, I am not sealing this because of the paint. I'm sealing it because I added that transfer to it and I wanna make sure that it stays on my piece forever and ever and ever and ever. So I am gonna go ahead and take my DIY clear wax. I usually take mine out of the container because it is all natural. I don't wanna contaminate it. And then I am just going to brush that on my entire piece. And that is all folks. Absolutely loving this color combo. So I bought this for $3.99. I always want to try and get back three times what I paid for the item. Then I factor in the time and the materials I use and also how well certain items sell. And wall pockets always sell well for me. So this one will be up at $24.95. And now we take a break, my friends. Uh, the belly needed some bagel in her life. He also thinks he needs a bagel, but he is not gonna get one, not from me, no sir. And then we have this little one who is living her best life and always makes me jealous. <laughs> oh, it was good though. This next beauty, which none of you better come after me about painting this because it's been on my website yeah, way over six months now and nobody wanted it. It was even handmade, so I, I got to try to get my money back. So we are painting it. Sorry, no, sorry. Okay. So I'm going to clean this off first. It was a beautiful piece to me, but I don't know if it was too traditional or what. So I want to make it a piece that can fit into more maybe kitchen styles. Um, so we are going to paint it with the same paint we've been dealing with here. I didn't show you guys the first coat, but I wanted to show you this second coat because I don't like streaks on my, or like brush strokes, I guess you could say, on a lot of my items. That's just my personal preference. So you can see how streaky this was looking after the first coat. And I didn't wanna go in and brush a second coat and then be like, ugh, I cannot stand those brush strokes. Now I gotta go stipple. So I wanted to try the stippling method that I usually do by adding that like cottage color in there to see if it would dry down smooth or if it would add a texture to it. And it definitely dried down just like it would with the DIY paint. Sorry, I'm totally not in frame. Um, but I think this gives it a lot cleaner of a look, uh, which is my preference. 
So I'm going to stipple this entire piece for our second coat. I'm choosing to clear this. One, I'm clearing because I wanna put white wax over it and I wanna be able to wipe that back easily. And so I chose to clear it with Big Top. And the reason I chose this is because I figured it would be in someone's kitchen. It would wanna be wiped down more often and it's a lot more durable than the clear wax in my opinion. So I am going to clear it with the Big Top now we take out the white wax. So I'm taking a uh, smaller chip brush and I am getting a, a pretty healthy coat of that white wax and I'm going to stipple it on focusing that wax on to my the raised image on the pan. I'm not focusing any of this on the rest of the pan quite yet. Now I'm gonna take my paper towel and I'm just gonna wipe that back and this is all about your preferences. So you can wipe this back as much as you want. If you wanna take some of that brightness out of the details, just use your finger and buff over it. You can see I want to create more of like a shadowy effect with the wax around the raised image, but I wanna keep all of the brightness in those details so that they pop as much as they can. And you could add as much or as little as you want. Then with whatever's kind of on my paper towel already, I'm gonna get that and I'm going to also buff that on the flat part of the pan, just so it's a little bit more cohesive. It almost looks like a terracotta like pan, doesn't it? I'm gonna go ahead and leave the pan handle blank so somebody could accessorize it however they feel it fits their decor. But I paid $4.99 for this, which I feel like for the original like painting that was on it, it was worth it. But considering it didn't sell, I don't know how much I'll get out of this. So I am just going to get my three times my money spent. So this one will just be up for sale at $16.95. So I didn't realize we were going to work on two frames today, but they're going to come out completely different. So just hang tight. So this was only $2.98 at Salvation Army, which I was shook because usually their frames are outrageous. So um, the glass does not come out of this one. So I'm not going to even worry about putting tape in there because I could easily take a razor blade and do what I need to do. Now, I literally, you guys, use every last drop of this paint, every last drop. And I, um, uh, to be frank, I basically was running out of it. Um, so I knew after doing the coat on the back that I was probably only going to have enough to do one coat on the front. So I really tried to stretch it as far as I could. And luckily with the metallic on the bottom, it wasn't an ugly colored frame to begin with. I knew that I could stretch my paint and then distress it down to the metallic color. And then that way, if there were parts of the paint that, you know, could have gone for two coats, it wouldn't have looked out of place. So I am going to do whatever I can to completely cover my frame up. Now I'm going to grab a baby wipe and I am going to distress that paint back. I was kind of surprised how well it distressed back with that, um, the DIY cottage color in there. Cause I was worried with that built in clear coat that I was going to have a tough time wet distressing. I will say in some areas where I got it a little too wet, the paint kind of like formed like little gummy looking balls, but I just easily, once it dried, just, you know, brushed them off. But I think it worked out perfectly. You would have never known that I ran out of paint with this one. I grabbed one of these, I think they're scrapbooking paper. My girlfriend Kendra sent me a bunch of these and my transfer that I'm using has something to do with perfume. So the paper that's behind it is like soaps and smells and all. I just thought it fit perfectly with the transfer. And I also needed a backdrop to put my transfer on. And you guys, it sticks beautifully to paper. So don't ever be scared to use transfers on a piece of paper. 
All right, so now I'm going to clean all my glass. I'm gonna pop that back in and we are done. Here she is and she is beautiful. I love our color combo. I love that bright white transfer against this paint color and against the paper. It looks gorgeous, you guys. Thank you for spending your time with me. I hope you love this video. Please make sure to subscribe, comment, and like for your girl. I appreciate you all. Bye-bye.